running city life is overblown sometimes even cluttered countryside had always been my solace i never ever miss a chance of getting rid of this run of the mill mundanities of everyday life a flunky sudden chance appeared when a friend proposed a mini break in a hamlet at ajodhya hill top hot to trot we were on the road in less than 2 hours ranga a typical shantal village among more than 80 villages atop ajodhya hill this ethnic native tribe mostly communicate in shantali and munda along with bangla and hindi due to its proximity to jharkhand border our stay here was arranged at a shantali homestay run by dinesh murmu and his wife nowadays the word homestay even refers to fancy or luxury accommodation but not this one here you wake up with them eat all organic straight from the backyard dance to their tunes or even sip into some mohua a regular morning at ranga waking up in an eco-friendly hut made of bamboo and mud i peeped into the kitchen cum bedroom of our host the two little nippers looked confused at this unexpected company Ranga falls under the panchayat of Ajodhya in Bagmundi block with an approximate area of 270 hectares the small settlement has a population of 145 shautal families primarily their livelihood depends upon farming rest our daily wages cows hens goats buffaloes and even pigs are a part of the households cows and buffaloes are traded in local markets called hat being pantheistic and monotheistic the marangburu or the great mountain is believed to be the creator of the universe bonga or a coat of spirits who according to the natives handle various facets of life can cause good or evil are appeased with offerings and prayers each household has a sacred tree Today life's a little exciting here at Ranga. A football match between the villages started in the morning.
organized by a non-profit village welfare association by the name of Maranguru Society. This establishment headed by Dinesh Murmu works for the betterment of the natives starting from road connectivity, electricity, drinking water, education and other basic needs they scuffle for every day. The villagers are seen socially knit together, enjoying the match. As there are no shopping malls and multiplexes around here. Their day-to-day -day life is a fight for existence. But the faces seemed cheery. As I always believe, happiness is a state of mind. It does not come with a lot of wealth or power but comes up with the choice of making it so.